Hello, lovely people of BookTube. My name is Morgan, and I have recently purchased five books that I am very excited for, so I want to share them with you today. If you are a frequent consumer of BookTube content, then you have probably heard of most of these books already, and it's kind of cool that I'm sticking them all together in this video because they all happen to be different shades of blue. Most of these books are books that have been on my Amazon wish list for a while now, waiting for me to have a reason to buy them. And my thesis proposal was recently approved by Ethics, so I felt like that was a good enough reason to treat myself and purchase some books. Maybe while you're here, you will find the next book you want to pick up as well. The first book that I want to talk about is Colorless Tsukuru Tazaki and His Years of Pilgrimage by Haruki Murakami. I previously picked up Kafka on the Shore and What I Talk About When I Talk About Running by Murakami. I had never read him before. I honestly only picked up Kafka on the Shore because I wanted to read What I Talk About When I Talk About Running, but I didn't want to read his memoir about writing before I read some of his writing. I read Kafka on the Shore first, and I was absolutely hooked. So of course, I had to pick up another Murakami book because one, I'm probably going to love it since apparently Kafka on the Shore is quintessential Murakami, and because two, I need to make sure that wasn't a fluke. Like, is this really an author for me? For whatever reason, I was drawn to Colorless Tsukuru Tazaki. This book is about a man named Tsukuru Tazaki. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And when he was a child, he had some close friends who all had colors in their names, but he did not. And then one day, I think he came home from college and nobody was friends with them anymore. They wouldn't talk to him. Fast forward to him as an adult, and he is now going to go on a journey to figure out why that happened. The next two books I picked up are historical fiction novels. The first one is Maggie O'Farrell's book, Hamnet. You've possibly heard about this book because it recently won the Women's Prize for Fiction. It is, of course, about Shakespeare's son, Hamnet, but also about his wife, Anne Hathaway. Hamnet passed away when he was 11 years old, so I think that this book takes place around the time of his death. Anne Hathaway is, from what I gather, a rather mysterious historical figure. We don't know a whole lot about her, so Maggie O'Farrell can take a lot of creative liberties in fleshing out this woman's life. And what's really interesting is I hear that Shakespeare is never even mentioned by name in this book, so it really decenters him from his family's narrative. The next historical fiction, because I am getting really excited about historical fictions these days, is Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. I have heard only great things about this book. It is about a single family throughout multiple generations. I think it spans about a century, but apparently the writing is very clear and there is no excess of what there needs to be in this book, and it's surprisingly easy to follow, even even though there are so many characters because it starts with one woman and then it just gradually expands as more and more people are added to her life over time. Shaylin from Shaylin Writes spoke about this book in one of her recent reads videos, which are just great videos for book recommendations if you need some. But she said that this really taught her a lot about Japanese culture, Korean culture, and also the relationship between those two cultures. It's gotten dark out quickly, so I really hope you can still see me. This next book I got used for like $5, and it's the only nonfiction on this list. I picked it up because I'm trying to read a bunch of books by ultra runners, and this is one of the most popular ultra running books, and that is Born to Run, A Hidden Tribe, Super Athletes, and the Greatest Race the World Has Never Seen by Christopher McDougall. I have started reading this one already. So far, it is about a group of people called the Tarahumara in Mexico, uh, in the Copper Canyons, who have just mastered the art of long distance running. Somehow they are able to run for hundreds of miles without rest or getting injured. So far, this book is an investigation of their culture and how they are able to do this. I keep saying this, but I will at some point have a much longer video on 
all of the ultra running books that I have been reading. And finally, for whatever reason, this last book is the one I am most excited to have in my hands and on my shelf, and I cannot wait to start reading it, but it is huge, so it will be an undertaking, and that is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. Guys, I never read The Inheritance Cycle, never read Aragon, had no idea who Christopher Paolini was when I saw this book for the first time, but I saw Daniel Green especially reviewing this book, and I cannot get enough of this cover. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like overly spectacular, I guess, but for some reason, this book cover has called to me more than any other book cover ever has. I honestly can't explain it. It is sh shiny, it's like shimmery, and like the, the the matte black feels really nice, but like I did not know those things when I saw the book cover. Just something about this comparison between the sky and the sea and this woman that looks like she's falling through water, but you know it's probably the, the black sky and she's surrounded by stars. But there's also something like neurological about like the blue of this cover. Even the spine I'm obsessed with. Even though Paolini's name means nothing to me. The font choice? Like, I don't know. And the inside is quite pretty as well. It's got like a shiny blue to sleep in a sea of stars. I honestly have no idea if I'm going to like Paolini's writing style because I've never read him before. But by the end of like 800 and something pages, I'm definitely gonna know whether I'm a Paolini fan. Why don't I tell you a little bit about what this book is actually about? I honestly don't know very much. What I think I know is that it's about a girl named Kira who finds this alien, oh, what are they called? Um, the thing that Venom is. A symbiote. So she finds, I think, an alien symbiote and it attaches itself to her, which affects her in ways that are both positive and negative. And apparently it blends a bunch of sci-fi genres together and introduces readers to a new sci-fi universe called the Fractalverse. Apparently it is very well grounded in actual science, which is pretty cool. It sounds like it's really well researched. And Daniel from Daniel Green, the YouTube channel, said that it also could be a pretty good introduction to contemporary sci-fi, which is good for me because last year I read the Foundation Trilogy and of course I loved it. And I've read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I think literally all people should read. And I'm reading the Broken Earth trilogy now, which is science fantasy, and I'm absolutely loving it. So I think this is a genre that I really like. And it's nice to know that this will introduce me to the world of contemporary sci-fi, what's going on today, how all of the different tropes can blend together into something new. I also love that there's a female main character because a lot of the sci-fi that I've read in the past has exclusively male main characters. Even if there are strong female characters, they're never the main central character from what I've read. So I am very excited to pick up another sci-fi book very soon. I will definitely be getting to this in June, I wanna say, cause I just can't keep my hands off of it. After all of my excitement over receiving it, like I really hope I like it. I really hope it's a six out of five stars read for me. Okay, that's it. That's the whole video. I just bought five books and I wanted to talk to you about them because I'm very excited to read them. Probably you will see other videos about them on my channel throughout the following months because I'm probably going to get to all of them very, very soon. Thanks for watching everybody. If you've read any of these books and want to put them like top priority in my reading list, then let me know in the comments. And if you are now excited about any of those books from this video, please let me know. I would love to know that I influenced what you're reading. Happy reading everybody and I will see you in the next video.